morning, grade 4. Welcome to science class. This is module 3 for weeks 5 and 6. Our lesson for today, changes in materials. At the end of this video, you will be able to describe changes in the properties of materials when exposed to certain conditions such as temperature or when mixed with other materials. Try to sip some iced tea or cold water while you are going through all the learning tasks in this module. What did you feel? Do you know that cold water have more dissolved oxygen? That's why it feels better to sip cold drinks than a non-cold drinks? Let us recall what happened to ice cubes when they were exposed to heat. The ice cubes melted. What made the ice cube melt? Let us study the effect of temperature in the phases of materials. At constant pressure, the state of materials depends on the temperature by which they are exposed. The ice cube or solid phase of water will melt if taken out of a freezer and stayed long at room temperature. The water that boils turned into gas or vapor that comes out of the kettle if left at high temperature for too long. Temperature is the measurement of the amount of heat energy present in the surroundings. There is an exchange of heat between the substance and the surroundings. This means that heat can be absorbed by the materials or can be released by the materials. When the heat is absorbed by the materials, the temperature will increase. Thus, the material is hot. If heat is removed or released by the materials, temperature will decrease. Thus, it is cold. Another changes in the materials is due to the application of heat called melting. This process happens when solid materials changes into liquid form. The heat coming from the environment made the ice cubes melted when they are removed from freezer. The temperature in the freezer is 0 degrees Celsius. Thus, when ice cubes were exposed to heat in the environment, the high temperature of the environment caused the melting of ice cubes. Generally, an increase in the temperature turns solid into liquids or melting, liquid to solid or freezing, liquid to gases or evaporation, solid to gas or sublimation, and boils water at certain point or boiling. When materials reached its melting point, solid materials change into liquid. The temperature at which the liquid will change back to, to solid is called its freezing point. The melting point of ice is 0 degrees Celsius. This is also the freezing point of water. The boiling point or the temperature at which water boils and turned into gas is 100 degrees Celsius. If the change is from gas to liquid as the temperature falls below it, it is the condensation point. Combustion, also known as burning, is the basic chemical process of releasing energy from a fuel and air mixture. In an internal combustion engine, the ignition and combustion of the fuel occurs within the engine itself. The engine then partially co converts the energy from the combustion to work. The change in materials when mixed with other materials. During hot water, Halo halo is a favorite food. Have you seen and tasted halo halo? What are the materials mixed together to form a mixture of halo halo? Mixture is a substance made by mixing other substances together. It is the product of the random distribution of one substance through another without any chemical reaction as distinct for a compound. There are types of mixture. Mixed materials can be classified depending on the appearance of the resulting mixture. When solid materials are mixed with solid materials, each of the combined or mixed materials can be easily identified or distinguished from one another. These mixtures are called heterogeneous mixtures. Each property of the materials in heterogeneous mixtures do not change. Their sizes, shape, and color remain the same after mixing them together. 
Some solid materials, when mixed with other solid materials, cannot be distinguished from each, from each other. The resulting mixture will look the same all throughout. When sugar is dissolved in water, you cannot distinguish sugar in the solution. This kind of mixture is called homogeneous mixture. Examples of these are liquid medicines, sugar, and salt solution. Now let us answer these questions. Learning task number one, examine the pictures below. Identify the process that caused the materials to change. The first picture is a candle, then ice cubes, then uh, water boiling in a kit kettle, and then melted ice cream. Next, water in ice cube maker kept in the freezer and mothballs placed in the cloth's cabinet disappeared after one week exposure in the air. If you are not done answering this, this uh, learning task, you can pause this video. Next, tell what type of mixtures are formed when these materials are mixed together. 1. Salt dissolved in water. 2. Mixed toys in the room. 3. Paper clips and pins. 4. Soy sauce. And 5. Halo halo. Again, if you are not done answering this task, you can pause this video. Next, choose the letter of the best answer. You can write your answer on your notebook. Number 1. When a material was cool, cooled, what happens to its temperature? A. Disappear. B. Remain the same. C. Increase. Or D. Decrease. 2. Mark heated a chocolate bar to make a chocolate syrup. Which of the following describe the changes that happened in the property of the chocolate bar when it is heated? A. Shape B. Size C. A and B D. Size but not shape 3. What will happen to metals when heated? A. Expanded B. Contracted C. Frozen D. Melted 4. When solid material is mixed with other solid material, the materials can be easily identified from one another. What type of mixture is formed? A. Homogeneous mixture B. Solid materials C. Heterogeneous mixture or D. Mixed materials 5. What do you call the type of mixture in which the resulting mixture look the same throughout? A. A solid mixture B. Mixed materials C. Homogeneous mixture or D. Heterogeneous mixture Thank you for answering all those questions. Now, here is a thought to ponder. Science is a way of thinking much more than it is a body of knowledge. Thank you for watching this video and please do subscribe for more videos. You, you can also visit www.theteacherscraft.com for more learning videos for free. Goodbye class!